Hi, I'm Tanya Powell Edwards and today I want to talk to you about the power of the tongue. But just before I get started, you're asking, so who are you? Well, what can I say? I'm a Jamaican woman, a fun-loving woman. I love to do motivational talking and so one of the greatest pleasures I have is when I'm talking to people, sharing with them a message that's going to bring about change in their lives. I'm trained as a guidance counselor and currently doing a master's in counseling and consulting psychology. And so I'm also embarking on a wonderful project just to get the message out. I want to talk to girls. I want to talk to families. I want to talk about the word of God. I want to talk about the power of the tongue. So as I said, but the power of the tongue, it reminds me of what I really want to share with you today. You know, I've had many people laugh at me when I talk about the power of the tongue. One of my sisters laughed at me many, many years ago. You know, I love my sister very much, but she would, she saw me reading a book entitled, Does My Tongue Need Healing? And she laughed so much. But yes, for many of us, our tongue really does need healing. And I share with you as a Jamaican woman, you know, we love to argue, we love to win our points. And sometimes we'll say just about anything to get that point across. Say we're talking to our husbands, many of us don't realize that the tongue really has death and life in it, just like the Bible says. So here it is that a woman, a Jamaican woman, is talking to her husband. They start arguing. She wants to win the point. She starts calling him names. He calls her names. She gets really down low because she really wants to win the point. And then later on in the afternoon, when both of them are together alone in bed, she throws her hand over her husband and she says, honey, I love you. And now what she gets is this brick. And she says, didn't you hear I say that I love you? And he says, yes, but hon, you told me all those things today out of your own mouth. How can you use the same tongue now to tell me that you love me? And that's the point that I want to make, that death and life lies in the power of the tongue. So how did I come across this message? You know, many years ago, approximately 20 years ago, I began to learn about the tongue. And actually, you know, the scripture also says, as a man thinketh, so is he. I've been learning about your thoughts, your tongue, and how it lines up with act what you actually do. So the scripture also says, out of the abundance of the heart, things flow. So we have to, if we want to live a positive life, we really have to check our ourselves. What's going on in the thoughts? What are you saying out of your mouth? And also, what's going on in the heart? So say you are poor, or you think you're poor. Hmm? What's going on in the mind? And you know, you say, boy, I broke. Jamaicans know what that means. We love to say, I broke. Not now go on for me, mean nothing is going on for me. Well, if we say that all the time, then guess what? Nothing will go on for you. So I have a new practice and I've been doing this for a couple of years. Whatever my state is, if I have a lot of money or not, I think wealthily. And so by thinking wealthily, what tends to happen is I tr attract wealth. You know, if you think negatively, then a lot of people believe that what you do is you release negative energy and you pull negative people towards you. And I'm telling you the truth. I've had a couple of bad experiences, but for the most part, I attract positive people. And even if somebody comes to me negatively, I use my counseling training, I use my belief in the word of God, and by the time they leave, they leave a different person. So many times people come with a frown on their face, made up, they're rigid, everything, and by the time you show them care, they leave with a much freer spirit, their faces begin to lighten up, and they, they really recognize that the world is not as serious as they tend to make it out to be. So I would encourage you to do a study. If you believe in the Bible, go right ahead. There are quite a few scriptures there. As a man thinketh, so is he. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And there are many other motivational speakers out there who may not use the Bible, but the message is still the same. And even if you look at it from a metaphysical perspective, the metaphysicists believe that you can draw energy to you, positive or negative. So here's an example. They say, 
don't talk about what you don't want you know you have a lot of people who do that I don't want a tall man I don't want a short man I don't want a man without money and then in a few years when you meet them they have met exactly who they say they didn't want so I've been saying to friends stop talking about what you don't want paint a picture of who you want even if you have to write it down I want him tall he should be handsome he should be working so when you write that down and you begin to play it over in your own mind guess what happens when mr Wright comes you are going to know who he is because you have already spoken him into being so what if you're not working what kind of job do you want a lot of people talk about what they don't want but today i'm encouraging you talk about what you want and i often say to people if you can't figure it out write down all the negatives first then write the opposite of the negative and then I encourage them to have a bonfire because this is the last time you're gonna speak negative okay so we're gonna keep the positive we're gonna date it and as we look at that and our brain begins to receive these new signals we're preparing ourselves for better so I want you to take up what the challenge today to begin to think positively to begin to renew your mind focus on what is in your heart change it if it's necessary and prepare yourself for an exciting new life so I have a lot more to share with you but until next time I want you to begin to focus on what are your thoughts what's in your heart and what actions are you taking and let's see if we can journey together to a more positive life